Welcome aboard the Bitcoin Express. My name is Chase. Let's get to it. Is Bitcoin too slow? Well, the answer depends on the context. For the most part, Bitcoin is too slow. It takes 10 minutes for a block to be mined, and between the mining of a block and waiting for confirmation times, it could take 10 minutes to an hour, sometimes even more, just for your transaction to complete. So when it comes to buying things day to day, such as pizza or maybe a cup of coffee, Bitcoin certainly is too slow. I mean, who would want to pay for their coffee and then have to wait 10 or 20 minutes for the transaction to go through? Yes, there are developers on Bitcoin network building on top of it, building the Lightning Network, which is trying to scale Bitcoin, make payments quicker, but this is still far away from mainstream adoption. But as I mentioned, Bitcoin being slow or efficient all depends on the context. When it comes to moving money around the world, whether it's through a remittance payment or bank to bank or country to country, Bitcoin is actually very fast and very efficient. When sending money from country to country, it takes at two to three days to settle, sometimes even more, and there's very expensive fees. But when it comes to Bitcoin, you can send, for example, this is a real example, someone sent $1.1 billion worth of Bitcoin for $80 fee. This is pennies. This same kind of transaction through any other third party with the traditional method we use today would take days, maybe even a week to settle, and the fee would be much higher than this. So when it comes to Bitcoin, it is actually very efficient and very fast for large purchases and large transfers. If you're going to buy a house or maybe if you're going to buy a car, you'll have no problem waiting you know, 10 minutes or even an hour for a transaction to go through because at the same time, you're also going to have the settlement occur faster and also you'll have a much cheaper fee. This is the problem that all cryptocurrencies are trying to solve. It's called the blockchain trilemma. And it has to do with three of the main characteristics of a blockchain and cryptocurrency. And that has to do with security, one, number two, scalability or speed, and number three, decentralization. Now, the trilemma is, is that any cryptocurrency project can only reach two parts of this triangle. There's no project at the moment that has all three. So when it comes to Bitcoin, they chose decentralization and security. And for that, they had to sacrifice scalability or speed. You have other projects out there that are fast and scalable, but at the same time, they either have to sacrifice security or sacrifice decentralization. So just to recap, is Bitcoin too slow? When it comes to day-to-day -day transfers, yes, Bitcoin is too slow. But when it comes to large transactions or transactions around the world, Bitcoin is much faster than any other alternative that we have today. There are so many cryptocurrencies and blockchain projects right now. When you go on CoinMarketCap, you see thousands of projects. Still, no one has figured out how to solve this blockchain trilemma. But who knows what the future will bring. This industry is so young, it's so new. And in the future, we're likely to see one of these cryptocurrencies solve this blockchain trilemma. I hope that you found value in today's video. If you like my content, go down below and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.